Hi everyone, happy Wednesday and happy new release day. We got 2021 Panini Mosaic Football coming at you. Hobby Edition, six box, pick your team two. This is the second half of the case that we popped open here. Remember I marked all those boxes too so we know they're all from the same case. And big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action. Appreciate it. Leonard ended up with a last spot mojo with the Dallas Cowboys before we pulled all the teams for that filler. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the filler that we did that helped fill up breaks one and two. Thanks everyone for making this happen. Appreciate it. All right, now well, let's roll. Two autos per box on average. We did see points. Um, so hopefully we don't see too many of those points, but if we do, winner take all on the points. We'll do that randomizer at the end along with any other randomizers that we may or may not have to do. We kind of started touching on the uh, on some of the wild card matchups this weekend. I'd love to hear your thoughts. On the matchups. First of all, what's the most exciting matchup on Wild Card Weekend? What, what's everyone looking forward to? Obviously, I'm a Raiders guy, so I'm looking forward to to Raiders Bengals, Raiders at Bengals. But good good chunk of the crew: Jason Jaspi, Nick Jaspi, his dad, the boss man, um, are all Eagles fans. So I know there'll be a, there'll be some people watching the Eagles. What's the? Is there a matchup that everyone's looking forward forward to? I feel like they all kind of look pretty good. Or I guess if you want to answer the question, if you want to flip the question around, what's what's the game you're like not looking forward to that you're like, eh, I could pass on this game. Oliver thinks Niners Cowboys will be good. I, I mean, I think actually just looking at the matchups right here, I think they all there's compelling reasons to watch all these games. It's Thomas Davis, a senior to 99 for Carolina. That will be for Patrick Davis. Yeah, Niners Cowboys also just like a classic sounding matchup, right? Yeah, look. Jimmy Garoppolo, the Niners were down by a lot to the Rams. And Jimmy Gar Garoppolo and the rest really, really battled back. So that was pretty impressive. Ooh, and a redemption. So there's Jamar Chase, NFL debut card. Sean Maddock, one of the favorites. I think him and Mac Jones are the favorites. Corner of Vegas, anyway, for Rookie of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Jalen Hurts, Stairmasters to 99. And behind his teammate Jalen Ragor. I think the redemption goes this way. Let's see what we got. Rookie autographs mosaic parallel. T R R E V O R Trevor Lawrence T Law. Nice. That's for Matthew Nielsen, who joined the filler, got randomized the Jaguars and pick your team too, and ends up with the Trevor Lawrence autograph. Nice, congrats.
NFL debut Justin Fields. All right, you got your picks. Gave your picks to the fellas at the shop here today. Justin Fields goes to Bill and the Bears. Uh, you're taking... Oliver's taking the Niners, Patriots, and Raiders against the spread. Those are Oliver's picks. This is Michael Strahan, 23 out of 25. Are those all uh, are those all road dogs? They do say. I think you mentioned it the other night, Oliver, right? The wild card road dog. Often covers. There's Zach Wilson to, for uh, Patriot and the Jets. I think the I think the divisional road dog facing each other in the playoffs also has a good some good trend indications. So in this case, the divisional road dog is specifically would be New England at Buffalo. Nice, Sean Merriman. Autograph for the Bolts. That's going to go to Mark and the Chargers. Oh, and he blasted the Raiders line. Come on. Randy Moss, Eskridge, Trevor Lawrence. All right, first box, good start. Jay wanted you to say Eagles. You can't, but if they have a chance, to, if they can run the ball. All right, and the Eagles have a decent defensive front. They, if they could get to Tom Brady, pressure him a little bit, which is difficult because he gets rid of the ball so so quickly, but. If he's able, if they're able to pressure him a little bit, I mean, just like my Raiders, I feel like I feel like the Eagles' margin of error is is pretty thin. A lot has to go right. You know, Jalen Hurts, Devonta Smith need to have a big game. I think that's part of the narrative. They need to be able to run the ball. That means Miles Sanders, Gainwell, Boston Scott, all those guys have to really come together, control the game. Open up the big play with Devonta Smith, players like that. Maybe, maybe try to slow down Tom Brady. It might be possible. Tom Brady doesn't have Godwin. Doesn't have uh, doesn't have Antonio Brown. I don't know. I mean, but I think they do get Leonard Fournette back. It'll be interesting. Oliver, what about your Steelers? Do they have a shot? There's a Trey Lance Blue, 13 out of 99. Nice. Niners, Jay Greggs. Michael P. Ryan, Jaws, Breeze. Zach Wilson. All we're saying they have a shot to cover. That's about it. I want to say, I feel like I was watching something on NFL Network last night. Where I think Cynthia Freeland maybe was, was crunching numbers. It seemed like she was saying that, uh, that there is... As weird as it sounds, there is a path to upset. It's Tillon Wallace.
Tillon Wallace for the Ravens, Aaron Billingsley. Another Zach Wilson for Patrice. Maybe we'll find some, some color for him. That would be nice. Cornell Powell. Jamar Chase. All right, Kyle Trask, 15 out of 49. Sean Maddock with Tampa Bay. Some people are saying maybe maybe this guy marinates behind Tom Brady, learns a thing or two in the next year or two. Dawkins, Dobbins, NFL debut, Trey Lance. Joe Montana Stairmasters to 49. Goes to Greggs. Jay Greggs. And our second autograph behind TJ Watt is Amon Ross St. Brown, Nick T. With the Detroit Lions. Nice rookie auto. Max Crosby, so Max Crosby needs to have a big game if the Raiders want to uh, want to do anything. This will go to you, Ryan Heinz. And we've got a blue chip silver, Zach Wilson, to treat in the Jets. All right, another box in the books. Next one coming up. Yeah, I've been trying to trying to figure out, you know, starting to, what day is today? It's Wednesday? Yeah, and the next day or two, Thursday or Friday, if you look at the break schedule, there's a, if you click that link, there's a Joe's Picks tab. I'll try to update that with my, with my Saturday wildcard picks. And I'll be here on Sunday with you. So we'll, we'll have, let's see, we'll have at least... We won't be able to see the morning. I won't be here in the morning, for the early game. But we'll probably be catching the second half of the middle game together. And then the night game on Sunday. And then the Monday night game as well. We'll be breaking together and on jazbeescasebreaks.com and watching these games together. And I'll certainly have my picks posted. You know, for entertainment purposes only. Just for fun. But I start figuring it out. Box. Good luck. <laughs> Alvin Kamara to forty nine. Wait, did I pass the stained glass? I don't think I did. No? Where, Brody? In the previous box, maybe? Oh, you, you mean when I was opening the packs? I see. 
I see. I'd like to see a stained glass. Here's Mac Jones, NFL debut. Jeremy with the Patriots. And we've got William Perry. Remember him? Big dude. Chicago Bears, Bill Norton and the Bears. Nice, man. Yeah, one of the most popular Bears and Bears players from franchise from their Super Bowl team. Yeah. It's awesome. That'll be for Bill Norton and the Bears. Tim with the Saints. Look at that Alvin Kamara. Yeah, the fridge, right? The big dude. TJ Sharks, Stephon Diggs. And Kine and Wangwu, 71 out of 99 for the Vikings, Patrick Davis. Prescott, Robbie Anderson. Calvin Ridley, Sorensen, Joe Montana, uh, 98 out of 99. Oliver, you've walked behind the fridge before, and he is massive. I mean, he looks big on the on that trading card there. There's Nico Collins, uh, Texans, Tamoya with Houston. And there's Trevor Lawrence NFL debut card for Matthew and the Jaguars. Halfway through this half case break, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll do a, an autograph recap at the end as well, in addition to the other sort of lower numbered cards that I top loaded, or the key sort of top tier rookies. All right, so let, let's let's talk about it. Raiders Bengals. Raiders right now. It was Raiders plus five or plus six and a half. I think it went down a point or up a point, depending on whose side you're on. But it's uh, Raiders Bengals five and a half is the line. Raiders plus five and a half. I don't know if I like that number. Bengals minus five and a half. That's a weird number. Could there be weather issues? I don't know. I mean, if anything, there may be a little value on maybe Raiders money line. I don't know if I'm going to take that though. Man, yeah, may may pass on that game. What about yeah, Patriots at Bills? Patriots plus four. That could be pretty interesting. We did talk about that road division dog earlier in the playoffs, that meet in the playoffs. Or like, I don't know what the number was. It was like 13, 3, and 1 or something like that. So it hasn't happened too often, but when it does... All right, next box. 
Jarvis Landry, Trayvon Morig. And there's Patrick Queen, 79 out of 99. I guess the other road division dog would be, I just saw that Kyler Murray card, would be uh, Cardinals at Cardinals here in L.A. at Rams. Cardinals are plus four. It's Cooper Cup. They're going to need a big game from him. A lot of local L.A. sports talk radio talking talking Rams football, talking like this is probably a sort of, I don't know if legacy is the right word, but kind of a legacy game for Matthew Stafford. Because what's the, the argument always been, oh, if only Matthew Stafford was on a better team, then dot, dot, dot. That's been the argument, but I don't know. He's struggled a little bit off and on towards the end of the season. Savon Diggs, 49. Adam is saying that the high temperature in Buffalo is 10 degrees. Games at night, low is 4. But what about wind? So anyway, the, 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 the sort of argument is that, hey, this might be a, I guess a signature game maybe is the right word. Could be a signature game. There's Pat Fryermuth for Matthew Stafford. Pat Fryermuth going to Stephen K. And the Steelers. Stephen K won the Steelers in that filler. There's Justin Fields. So, is this Stafford, Matthew Stafford signature game? We finally gets that. 0 for the playoffs, 0 and 2, 0 and 3 in the playoffs. Kind of monkey off his back. Or is this is this Kyler Murray time? Kyler and and the rest. And DeAndre Hopkins maybe. Cliff Kingsbury. There's Micah Parsons, nice. Ten out of twenty five. He might be your defensive rookie of the year. Leonard with the Cowboys. Adam's not too sure about the win. I think I have that game cast open. Yeah, game time weather, it says three degrees. It's pretty cold. I click the weather report. Do I have to open up every one of these drop downs? Wind set. What, what time is this game? Be on the 15th. I have weather for the 14th. Give me weather for the 15th. Saturday the 15th. Wow, it's gonna be really cold. Wind gusts to 14 miles per hour at night. Is that enough to affect? I don't know. I forget what the old, uh, what the old like, old sharps say in Vegas. Like, at what point does the wind actually affect the line or kickers or pass throwers? I don't, I think 14 is not enough, especially gusts at 14. And there's a Mac Jones introductions, mosaic, refractor, and a Trevor Lawrence base card. And your autograph is Demetric Felton. Cleveland, this is for you. Glenn with the Browns. I'll have to see what the Browns can do with... Uh, with Baker Mayfield's repaired soldier, sh soldier, shoulder, maybe, uh, maybe some, some additions in free agency, some additions in the draft, and kind of refresh that squad a little bit. 
So let's see what they can do. Alright, two boxes to go. Brody was saying that that Parsons was just one off the jersey number. See, Brody? I ne never hit those jersey numbers. I'm no good at that. You know? I know what I'm good at. I know what I'm not good at. You know? It's not good at hitting jersey numbers. Penultimate box, second to last box. Good luck, gang. There's Devonta Smith, Trevor Lawrence, Refractor, nice. That's the kind of stuff we want to see, and Trey Lance here as well. Matthew Nielsen, nice break for you and the Jags. I don't know. Devon Smith, this guy could make a name for himself in the playoffs. Him and Jalen Jalen Hurts torch the Bucks. You know, hope springs eternal for a lot of these players. There's Jason Taylor, 77 out of 99 for Miami. That'll be for Bill. Jared Goff, Peyton Manning, Zach Wilson introductions insert. Patrick Mahomes. And we got a Javante Williams blue chips gold, two out of 10 for Denver. Tamir with the Broncos. They'll be looking for a new head coach. A lot of teams looking for head coaches. There's Greg Newsom, the second rookie autograph for Glenn and the Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. What happens to Kirk Cousins? I think. Minnesota, I think, fired their... They need a new GM and a new head coach, I think. So what does that mean for, for Kirk Cousins? Does an incoming coach want to inherit Kirk Cousins? Let me ask you this, gang, if you're, whoever's listening out there. That's Trayvon Morig, 23 out of If you were... A prospective NFL head coach, where do you want to go? Where would you where would you like to coach? Is there is there what's the best spot for a coach to land? You know, whoever's on the top of everyone's short list, and I'm sure there'll be tons of rumors as as the weeks and months go along, but where's the best job? I mean, for some people, maybe team control matters. Maybe some people, location matters. Current squad matters. 
Adams at, Adams is Miami. You've got a young quarterback you can work with, a pretty solid defense. You got a Jalen Waddle. And you got a I th what I think is a good ownership, right? And a fun town to live in. If you're a millionaire coach, Miami could be f pretty fun. Although I don't know how much time you're going to have as a head coach to to go out, but there's Jarrett Patterson. Jaguars, maybe? Rookie autographs, Jarrett Patterson for Washington. That's going to go to Frank in the Washington football team. Yeah, I'm a little surprised they fired Flores, too. I, th I thought he'd have at least a couple more seasons to see what he can do with that squad. Because they've looked pretty good at times. Oliver likes the Jags cuz franchise QB, solid D, high draft pick and you've got and like Travis Etienne coming back is like having another draft pick. Right there, last box coming up. Bill likes Chicago. Or any of the big QB spots. Yeah, Chicago. You got a young potentially franchise quarterback in Justin Fields. Got a pretty decent defense there, a very football hungry town. So if you succeed, if you succeed, I feel like uh, you would be beloved for forever, right? If you lead the if if you lead the Chicago Bears to a Super Bowl victory in the next, let's say, I don't know, three to five seasons, I mean, you would be a legend in Chicago forever. Right, hero, Bill, right? Exactly. Right. Do you get that in Miami or Jacksonville? Yeah, you might. But I feel like with the history of the Bears franchise, how just, how football hungry they are in the Midwest. I mean, they still talk with 80, the mid-85 Bears? Mid-80s Bears. No one mentioning the Raiders job, the Broncos job, the Vikings job. And there is Storm Chasers, DK Metcalf, which I think is pretty short printed. Going to Seattle, that would be for Sean Maddock. We've seen, still have not seen a stained glass. I think the stained glasses look different this year. There's, it's like a, it's like a circle in the back of the, back of the player, and that's all stained glass. I think Jason pulled one. New York, New York Giants. Nobody, no one likes the the Giants challenge. We got a Jameen Davis for Washington. That'll be for Frank. I agree, Adam. I always felt like the Jaguars ownership. I don't know. Not as not 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 too confident in the Jaguars ownership. What are they doing? What's their plan? You know, you want to run a soccer team and, a, and an NFL team? Do you want to move them to London or do you not? How committed are you to the, the NFL side of things? Got a Jared Goff, 33 out of 49 for the Lions. We'll go to Nick T. In it to win it, Damian Williams. Plaxico, Devontae Adams.
Should be expecting one more autograph. And it's going to be for Tampa Bay. It's Kyle Trask. Sean Maddock and the Buccaneers bought that team straight up. Introductions, Trevor Lawrence. No, no stained glass. I don't, I don't think they're guaranteed one per case, which is actually probably a good thing. Because that means the value on those stained glasses will be, will hopefully be pretty, will be significant if they're more short printed than this. But we still have a little bit to go. There's a Dan Fouts blue, 80 out of 99 for the Chargers for Mark. Brandon Cooks. We got a straight fire. Russell Wilson. There's a Mac Jones. Sam Darnold. NFL debut Mac Jones going to Jeremy and the Patriots. Hertz, Brady, Carr, Pitts, Brady, Joe, and Najee. And there you go, gang. That's your break. No points. On this nice clean break here for Pick Your Team 2. Some pretty solid stuff. Remember, folks, we've only done one case of this mosaic, so we've only just scratched the surface on the brand new release mosaic football. Thanks, everybody, for uh, watching, for breaking with us. More Pick Your Teams in the store. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's that Trevor Lawrence autograph. We'll see you next time for the next break. That was Pick Your Team 2. Bye-bye.